Hello YouTube, on this video we're going to be talking about the camshaft that Smokey used in the hot vapor engine. Um, I'm specifically talking about the 2.5 Iron Duke, which would be in the Fiero, uh, which is at the Don Garlis Museum, um, if you want to go look at the car. But a big uh, question that's always asked, I've been asking this question for a long time, is what camshaft is used in the hot vapor cycle engine? Um, there have to been a special cam, um, special materials, um, exotic uh, metals, um, it was made out of unobtainable that, that that metal that you can't find um and um it is a special camshaft and i have a, i've had a lot of questions and it's hard to answer what cam is in there because we don't know what cam it is but a lot of people probably believe i just don't want to tell you what cam is in the motor um or in the engine well um that being said Look at all of the cams that came. and these are all 2.5 Iron Dukes. Um, they have some of them have 85 written on them, some of them have 86, 87 casted into them. They're fortunately all had had tags. Um, and I love reading the, the, the notes that are on them. Um, he talks about the, the base circle, the snout, um, the year, and I'm trying to put everything together. And a lot of tags, like here's a tag that has a lot of very uh, in, uh, vital information, um, but it's putting the tag with the camshaft. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting together um, notes. Uh, also, everybody says um, that there wasn't any notes. Smokey didn't write notes. When he died, it all died. I um, argue that in the sense that I have a lot of Smokey stuff and every single thing that I have has a note written on it. So you're looking in the wrong place. Everything has, has a note. This was in the bottom of a bucket. And if you could see it, there's his handwriting. I know his handwriting. Um, there's a note. There's a wire, he tagged it, and most people won't know what this is. I happen to build turbochargers, so I know that's a turbo uh, thrust washer. I know that's a thrust washer, but it looks like an IHI turbo. Um, and sure enough, here in the back, very important note. Why would Smokey want to remove 10 thousands? And it even says uh, right there, uh, turbo exact size and remove 10 thousands. So the note is that he wants 10 thousands removed off of here. So um, is the thrust washer, did he actually uh, give it another 10 thousands because the heat that's in the uh, uh, homogenizer, not the turbocharger? Um, that all being said, Smokey didn't like to call things uh, turbocharger. One of them called the homogenizers. We're not going there. But in his own notes, um, him him getting r frustrated um, with everybody calling it a turbo, uh, Smokey got all all PO'd when anybody anybody would call it a turbocharger. Getting sidetracked, but um, in his notes, he calls it a turbocharger. I don't know what if we're going to go here or there or anywhere with that. But I like the notes. Um, once again. Um, We'll slow it down. You can zoom in on it. You can freeze frame and there's notes on everything. Um, a lot of stuff has tags written on everything or notes. I've gotten them. So I'm putting all, all the notes together and as I find stuff out, we'll do a video and y'all will find stuff out. out um, y'all find stuff out with me. Uh, what have I learned on this 2.5 just in this batch right here? Out of this batch right here, um, so, some of these are flat tappet and some of these are roller. Um, if you need to know what a roller cam is or a flat tappet lifter is, this isn't the video to get that. We're talking smoky, so we're not going to go down there. But I probably already have a video on that. If not, leave me a like, leave me a comment, leave me something. Don't leave me alone. Um, and tell me what, you know, if that's what you want a video on is what's a flat tappet, what's a, a hydraulic flat tappet, a solid flat tappet, a roller cam, a, a liquid cam. Yeah, whatever. Um, we're not going to go there. So these are d different cams, different um, examples that he had. I really like this one. As we know, he's in Florida and he uh, was right by Crane Cam. So Crane did a lot of his experimental cams. That's a, a Crane Cam right there in the back. In this particular note, uh, this was a hydraulic roller out of a truck. 2.5, January 27th, 87. Do we know where Smokey was? He was in his shop and he tagged this cam um, and it says truck right on it. So S10, um, do we know he had a hot vapor S10? We don't that I know of, but there's a camshaft. Um, these are some crane cams. Over here we have other, I had a bunch of these that on my first trip uh, to pick them up from Tony, um, I got the first batch of some, some cams. 
in one of the other future trips and stuff. I think the last time that Tony came, he uh, gifted me with these here. Um, and you'd have to have all of them to kind of uh, uh, go backwards and reverse engineer and see what he learned off of every cam. I'm gonna map every cam out and see if we can start putting that onto a, a, a graph, a, a spreadsheet, to try to kind of see what he's going with and what he was doing with it. But here's a bunch of cam grinds. Y'all will probably stop the frame right now. It's a good uh, a stop and then zoom in. I'm not gonna do that. And you never know when I edit it, I might. But there's cam specs at the end here. Um, so for those that are saying, I'm just trying to hide cam specs because I'm not going to tell you the real, real truth. Um, you know, what am I, I'm going to tell you is that, good luck, there's some cam specs right there at the end. And these were, uh, um, these were 2.5. I pulled the tape off one of these just yesterday that was, I had never even got into these cams. Um, these are brand new crane cams. There's the crane thing, don't stop now. There you are, right there. Um, the numbers off the back of every cam, and you could tell he probably did a cam break in, did a dyno pull, and this cam came out. It got washed and it got put in this box. The same with this cam, this cam, this cam. So all the cams that I have in boxes, um, doesn't mean that's the holy grail of the cam he used. Um, there's tons of cams. Who spends this, this kind of money? This is a small, just a small little bit of the cams that I've personally seen. Um, if you go look up in the, in, in, at his auction, there's a, a shelf, there's over a thousand camshafts. But that being said, I just wanted to let you know that we're not hiding cam specs so that you think, follow me out this way, that I don't want to tell you the cam specs. I wish I knew them. We knew the, if we knew the cam specs, you would know the cam specs. Um, what do we see on this engine? that we tore apart live last Friday. If you were here live, you saw it. Um, everybody got to ask a question. So if people ask the right, I don't wanna say the right question, whatever question that it, they asked, we answered. Um, and we weren't gonna tear the whole, the whole engine apart. We were not gonna tear the whole engine apart. We were gonna kind of pull some parts off of it. And as you ask questions, we would, we, we would keep tearing it apart. Well, by the time the night was through, two beers later, um, we have the complete engine pulled apart live in front of everybody. You ask questions. If you ask a question on something, I pulled it out and showed it to you right here in front. Like I said, nobody's hiding anything. Um, so if you weren't there and you get to live, the next time you see, I would probably suggest you, you put on the notification. You turn that little button on or whatever you do down there, up there, or whatever. So whenever I go live, you will get to, to see that. Um, the stuff that I do live, we're gonna pull and we're gonna probably put in an archive. That one there was a long one. I turned this camera on to film me while we were filming the live stream. So the live stream, we just we took it down. There wasn't any read, it was live. Um, but then I was filming so I could do a YouTube video. Um, afterwards, we find out that the camera had somewhere along the line, the battery had gone dead. So um, I'm gonna put that video together and it won't be a two hour video like what we did live, but I'll, I'll see how much I can save of that video. Um, but I would encourage you to watch the live streams because we just do it live and, and you can ask questions. What do we find that was interesting um, on the live stream of this particular 2.5 Iron Duke um, engine is we found that it's a roller cam with a hydraulic flat tappet lifter in it. And it makes no sense, and I'm not saying that, um, that I know anything of anything, just the facts of what we did. This is a lifter that came out of this motor. Hydraulic flat tappet lifter. This is the cam that came out of this engine. Engine, not motor. Don't go leave me comments about it. I don't know what an engine or a motor is, okay? So, all we do know is we don't know much of anything. The more we get into stuff, the more questions we have. We know that didn't run that way. Or did it? I don't know. I've never heard of anybody putting a hydraulic flat tap on a roller. You really can't. The angle of the lobe does not allow you to do that. But, I have not seen in all the stuff that I've gotten, I got boxes and boxes of stuff from, from, from Smokey, from, uh, from Tony gifted me just boxes of stuff that was getting thrown away, scrapped or whatever they're doing. And I, every little part I took out and looked. I have yet to find any way to hold the lifters from spinning on a 2.5 or even a roller lifter. I haven't seen one roller lifter in any of the stuff that I've gotten so far. So that was really a sh kind of a shock. When I saw this, saw that, I knew it was a, it was a you know, uh, a flat tappet lifter 
Um, but when we flipped it over and pulled the pan, I looked up from the bottom and I go, well, something's not right. That's a roller cam. We don't know what the answer is, but this is what came out of this motor. That is fact. Fact, this lifter came out of this motor. Fact, this cam came out of this motor. Um, that doesn't mean it ran that way. The smoky pull, the cover was off this motor. The cover was not on this motor. It was missing the cover. Um, the rockers um, and push rods were left loose. Um, so the smoky pull the cover off, slide these lifters in over this so that throw somebody off, possibly. Um, I never knew of anything that... Any story that, that I've ever heard, read, anything that goes with it, and I find facts, the facts kind of, not kind of, exactly match uh, the stories or whatever he wrote in his books. Uh, I haven't read anything in his books that's fictional. I will tell you that for a fact as a technician on actually touching stuff and seeing it of smoky stuff, that, that factually uh, what's in the book is I have not found a variance at all. If he says he did something as, as weird as it sounds, uh, I found evidence of, of that, that actually happening in many different ways. Um, so all I'm showing is what we found. We don't know the answer yet. Did he pull this cam out and he was putting a roller cam in and he didn't change the lifters yet? Did he put the lifters in there just to throw somebody off track? We don't know. We just know these are the facts. Also, this was just a short video to let you know I'm not hiding the cam specs. We don't know the cam specs. Um, and now you know why. There's tons of cam specs. By the time I map all of these cams out, and I'm still, uh, um, every day I learn something new about what's happening with, with, with Smokey. That all being said, this is just a quick video expressing um, what the answers are on the cams. I get a lot of questions on the cams. One of the, the main questions on, on the engines, what about the cam, what about the cam, what about the cam? All right, I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. Editing probably won't be the best because I just let it run and I want to just let you know. Um, as for me, I'm getting back to work. Um, leave me a comment if you have more questions because I will do a video on the stuff that I see that, that comes up a lot as opposed to just answering, uh, typing them in. I try to type them in. I'm going real fast right now as it is, but it's easier just to turn on the camera and answer the questions. Our live streams are a good time to ask the questions. The next time, like I said, uh, hit the no notification button. When I go live, you'll know I'm live. You can come on and ask questions and we read them shop mom reads them and we answer them live um all right as for me i'm getting back to work